Hello, my name is Anne-Marie Casey. I'm a committee member of the Special Interest Group in Perinatal and Infant Mental Health. And I'm a senior clinical psychologist working with infants and parents in a paediatric hospital. Today for Infant Mental Health Awareness Week, I'm going to talk a little bit about a baby's language and how they speak to us and how that language helps their developing relationship and connection with their caregivers and parents. And Brazelton would have said um, that a baby's behaviours is its language and we can trust that language. Um, and as parents, the more we trust that language, the more it helps that bond and relationship develop. So these infants who are born with the capacity to see, hear, move, touch, taste, uh, they help them develop a repertoire to be able to communicate um, to the world what they like and what they don't like. Sometimes these signaling can be um, more subtle, whether it's the change of breathing, their skin colour, uh, maybe it's a stretch of their arms and legs, it might be a yawn, a spitting, sometimes a smile, a cry, an eyebrow wag. And all of these, um, all of these behaviours and uh, communication cues really signal to us what's happening for a little baby, what, what they want, what they want more of, maybe less of in the world. So a baby, you know, it might hold a gaze of a caregiver and then, you know, when it's enough, they might look away. And it's as important to to notice the times the baby looks away as well as the times the baby is able to hold that gaze in order for us to to tune in and, and see uh, what's happening for that little infant. There's a, a visual guide to these behaviours um, by Kevin Nugent, your baby is speaking to you. Um, and it really is um, a full complement of, of some of the ways that, that babies communicate to us.